Hi guys, I have some TNs that I created that I would like to share with you. These are not for sale. These are already sold. Um, I was asked to, if I could be, or I guess commissioned to make some. I usually don't do commissions just because I like to have the, the creativity freedom to do what I want to do. And I just kind of, I don't like to be restricted, you know, so... Um, and I don't like to disappoint people and I'm always nervous even though like everyone I've ever made I get really good responses so that's always been nice but I'm always afraid so usually I don't do commissioned work um, I just create what I create and then you know I list it and whatnot but um, I was asked if I could do these and I thought it was a really good or sweet idea because the lady had asked she wanted one and she wanted to have one made as a, um, a rack so um, it just was a <clears throat> really sweet gesture thing and I really like that and I love when I see people doing good for other people and not ever re like re or expecting anything in return you know I just I'd like to see that and um, I did have the time usually like time thing is hard for me um, I don't like to commit myself because it's like when I have stuff to do, it's like I always, my regular life, you know, outside life of YouTube and whatever seems to get busy. So, and I just can create when I, cre when I have time, but I knew over the weekend I was going to have time to do it. So I went ahead and told her I could create these for her. Oh my gosh, you guys, like this the coffee paper from this line, this is the, um, was it, what is it called? Cream and sugar line from Doodlebug. This paper with the coffees is my favorite. It is so cute. I'm so, so sad to see these go because I just love them. I love that paper so, so much. It's so cute and that's what she wanted. And luckily, you know, I have some in my stash, had some in my stash. So, um, I was able to create these for her and for the lady that she is sending one to but I love these so much so I created a b6 and I created a micro so you know if you guys see me listing usually it's either a b6 or a micro but these are for size comparisons you guys can see the difference in sizes um, these are the ones I mostly do just because I like that size I think it's super cute but I do at times create the b6s so I need to get these out in the mail today because I told her I would definitely try to have them out by Monday because I like to you know, when I have orders from you guys, I like to get them out ASAP. If I'm home and I see an order come through, you guys know within like a few minutes, you guys are getting a shipping number, a tracking number. Um, but I wanted to, you know, try to get these out today. So anyways, these are the ones I created. I am in love with them. I think they're so cute. And she wanted, you know, that coffee theme there. So um, these are what I created. So hopefully... Um, when she gets her, she likes it. And then the lady that she made or had me make one for, hopefully she likes it as well. Um, yeah, I guess I go ahead and show you guys um, what I did. So the lady that asked me to create them, she wanted a micro. So this is the one I created for her. And it is so cute. This, I mean, you guys, seriously, look how cute this paper is. I love it so much. I'm, I think I have a piece left of this one. I'm probably going to create one for myself before I don't have it anymore. So, um, so here's the little card I made for the front. Really cute. And then this is the notebook itself. I use white elastic. And then on the inside I made it just like the same ones that I make to sell. So it has the clear pocket on the front, a washi sample card, a calendar, an extra card. Here's the first insert I did for her. Here is her page marker. Looks like that. Here is her folder. I did add some washi from the collection and a little cutout of a coffee bean from the collection. And here I added some stickers and some cards that I made. And then here is the second insert, which I added this die cut from the collection. I do have the die cut pack, but it's I've used a lot of it. But I just decided to add that to that. And then here is the third insert. And then here on the back, there's another clear pocket with a couple of cards that I created. There's the back. 
so cute. I love this one so much. I mean, I love them both, but it's just this paper. It's adorable. I just, oh my gosh, it's so cute. So, um, that is the one I made for her. Oops, I forgot to, I always do that. I take out the page marker and then I forget to put it back. So, I really hope she likes it. It is super, super cute. All right, so there's that one. And then the one she had me make for the person she's racking, she wanted me to make her a B6. So this is the one that I created. And so I made this cover piece out of a, a piece from the collection. And then I just added these little coffee bean die cuts from the collection. I, well, I glued them down first so they would stay in place while I laminated it. Um, and also to bring in the coffee theme to this because I mean that could be coffee or tea but I just wanted a little extra touch to this so I added the little coffee beans to here and then so this comes off I did back it with some cardstock really cute so that's the card again I used that adorable coffee paper so cute um, again I used the white elastic and then when you open this one up, here is a clear pocket. There's some extra cards, a washi sample card, a calendar. And then here is the first insert. And then I created this folder and I did add washi and a little die cut from the collection. And in here, um, I did do the folder a little bit different. I added some pattern paper to this just because I wanted to do something a little bit different. So this has some stickers, some stationery, and a couple of extra cards. Then here is the next insert. Actually this I went and bought. I um, bought it's like a calendar like like this. <clears throat> I I don't know I wanted to pick one up so that she'll have it just to do something a little extra. And then here is the page marker that I did, and I did add some sticky notes to it. There's the back of that one, isn't that so cute? And then this matches the cover on the front. And then here is the third insert, it's lined paper. And then here on the back, there's some extra cards and an extra paper clip. And then here is the back. So cute, I just, I love this paper so, so much. I know, how many times have I said that, right? So this is the other one I created. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I don't know. Maybe you guys can get inspired to do some of your own. But those are what I created. I hope they're liked um, by the people that are going to get them, like I said. Um, I do have other um, traveler's notebooks for sale. And you'll find that link to my exhibit shop in the description box it's always there in all my videos and you'll see the current ones I have or ones I have left still they do tend to sell out pretty quick um, so if you guys just want to check there if you guys want to follow me on Instagram I usually post pictures of the ones that are going to be going up and whatnot in on Instagram before I have a chance to sit down and record a video and post here so just if you want I'm on my YouTube name and my Instagram name and all that, it's all the same. But just wanted to share this with you guys. Hopefully, um, you like them. And I guess I'll let you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.